to Purse Empowerment TV and it is Monday so you know we're talking all about money. Right now we have a series going on called Me, My Mommy and Our Money. If you didn't catch any of the other videos, there's some out there about breastfeeding, we're talking about balancing and budgeting, but today when we're talking about balance, we're not just talking about balancing your checkbook. We're talking about balancing your inner self so that you are in shape mentally to deal with your money. All right. Um, clearly, I could not tackle this conversation all by myself because when it comes to balance, sometimes I'll be a little over here and a little bit over here. But right now, I got somebody up in the studio that's going to help me get a little bit over here. All right. Um, what I want to emphasize about our guest, Sarah Elise, uh, she is a licensed psychotherapist that currently manages a mental health facility. And the reason why I brought you in is because I know as mothers, sometimes we don't give ourselves any break. Um, we don't give ourselves any breaks and we don't give ourselves any credit and um, sometimes we don't like to help We don't like to deal with the fact that we may need a little bit of therapy and we may need a little bit of counseling So this is coming from someone who is a licensed Psychotherapist saying you need some help because even with your skill set and with all the mental health issues that you are exposed to you are woman enough to say that even I Need a little help because mm -hmm. you can't help yourself. You see that? All right now. So let's pack that purse, Sarah. Um, as a mother, you are a mother of two. You have a three-year-old and a one-year-old, right? And uh, what has that been like as it relates to being able to stay in balance within yourself? Whew. Okay. Having a three-year-old and a one-year-old is a challenge in itself. But being a working mother, if you don't have support, it's not going to work. I had to build a community of supporters in order to be able to like complete my goals. I have so many goals and I want to build a legacy for, for my children. And overall, I had to make sure that I had that community of people to support me whenever I need help to go to. Okay. And that's what's helped me. Okay, Along so that would be one of the first things that you would say that has kept your life in balance and you are someone who deals with mental issues and you're saying for yourself, you definitely had to establish a community of people that wanted you to do well as it relates to building your business, as it relates right. to showing up on time to work, as right. it relates to building a family. Okay, so let's talk about how sometimes when women, they get out of balance within themselves and um, how does that then go over into their money? How does that begin to become a challenge? If you don't have a plan, you will lose money. Okay. If you don't follow your budget, you will lose money. Mm -hmm. So with me, I have to make sure that I go everywhere with my calendar. Mm -hmm. My budget is in there, everything mm -hmm. is in there. If my calendar is, if I leave it at home, I'm out of whack. Mm -hmm. So if you, you need a plan and you need to follow that plan, you don't need to be you know stringent on it, mm -hmm. but you have to follow that plan. Okay, so let's talk a little bit when I'm, I'm when I'm, let me be a little bit clearer. Mm -hmm. So let's just say you're out of balance, right? Let's just, let's just flip through your mind or whatever because you have a three-year-old and mm -hmm. a one-year-old. Let's pick out one of those times when you're just out of balance. There's too many hats that you're wearing. There's too many purses that you're carrying mm -hmm. at this point. What then starts to happen financially? You f find out the money is gone or Overdraft, so that's money out the window mm -hmm. when you're overdraft, and you find out oh the kids needed this, the fridge is um, bare, mm -hmm. um, I forgot to pay tuition, mm -hmm. and now I have to get out of myself mm -hmm. and look at all this chaos mm -hmm. and figure out how am I going to fix it and how am I going to go back and become more balanced. Okay. So how do you normally notice that you might, as someone like for women who are looking inside and they're just mm -hmm. doing all that they can to make their families work, to make their marriage work, to make their motherhood work for them, what are some symptoms that they can begin to identify to see that, you know what, I'm a little out of balance? What are some of those things that begin to kind of show up? When you lose that nurturing, mm -hmm. feeling that nurturing part of you, mm -hmm. and when for me, for example, when I start yelling and when I expect for my three-year-old to do things that developmentally he can't 
-hmm. that's when I realized, okay, something's wrong. Mm -hmm. Something is wrong with you and you need to check it out right now and fix it mm -hmm. before you hurt these kids. Right. And that's for someone who deals with mental issues. So one of the symptoms that you'll see within yourself is that you're starting to yell. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so what else? Yelling and what are some other things that you may see in some of your, your in some of your clients where they're dealing with all of these different myriads of motherhood? What are some of the things that are starting to show up? You start not to care. Mm -hmm. You become forgetful. Your stomach is just all in knots. Mm -hmm. You forget to care for yourself mm -hmm. for example if you're missing you can miss a meal here and there but if you're missing like meals you mean your own meals yeah because uh -huh. you, honestly you got to take care of yourself mm -hmm. before you can take care of everybody else okay that's that's my motto if i don't take care of me i cannot take care of those kids and they count on me to take care of them they can't take care of themselves so once i find out that i'm missing meals mm -hmm. and i love to eat girl mm -hmm. if i <laughs> that's yes uh-huh so that's my trigger. When I find out, okay, I'm missing meals. I forgot to do this. Because I'm very, for lack of a better word, I'm anal. I'm type A. Uh huh. So if things are out of whack, mm -hmm. then something's wrong. All right. So here we are. We're talking a little bit about balancing your financing and balancing yourself so that these two worlds can work together in a very synergistic way that works out for your purse. So we've already identified um, one way to go ahead and make sure that you have some balances. One, to make sure that you have established some level of a community. Even if you live out of state and your family is not there, then you have to create another type of community where people who have like minds like you. And now we're talking about some symptoms to let you know that you are starting to get out of balance and it's going to have an impact on your money. All right, some of the symptoms that you identified is that if you're starting to yell, mm -hmm. if you have these extra expectations for your children that are very unrealistic um, that's a way to know if you start losing the nurturing side of yourself um, if you are no longer eating then that's a way to kind of say that you're losing focus now me um, I surround myself with all these power moms all these mompreneurs right so sometimes they might see those behaviors oh those are behaviors for slackers so what are you noticing with these moms that are powerful you know these are these powerhouses moms they're trying to do everything what are some symptoms that they can kind of tune into I know the yelling is one because that is something that I I can identify with if I start yelling I know that Shawnee you're out of balance you need to pull back but what are these power heads kind of dealing with because sometimes they don't even you know they don't even see it honestly now that I'm in a position where I'm managing you mm -hmm. know I'm managing these group homes and I used to look at people I'm like man it's easy or like why can't you just do it all mm -hmm. when you realize like if you see like you're starting to is is it becomes blurry mm -hmm. things become blurry and you become forgetful Find, check check it out check it out okay get some help okay and then so that's when you start when you start losing your memory and you mm -hmm. start being forgetful what about do you kind of see people that are doing way too much mothers that just you know they have to do this they have to do that they always have to be you know doing, doing something. something what do you think do, it, would that be one of those symptoms that moms can kind of key into unrealistic goals for yourself mm -hmm. when you feel like oh i need to do this group that group oh i'm gonna do this project everything you can't say yes to everything okay so when you try to pile on everything mm -hmm. you only have one mouth mm -hmm. and you have all these things on that plate mm -hmm. eventually your stomach gonna burst right. something's gonna something's gonna happen right okay so when you're out of balance, when people are out of balance like that, we've mm -hmm. identified some symptoms. How do you see this is now starting to have an issue with their money? They're out of balance inside, so now their money is out of balance. What kind of things is happening? You said overdrafting, I think I heard you say. What's some other stuff? Retail therapy is Retail not real therapy. therapy is not real therapy. <laughs> That's first empowerment. That needs to be hashtag somewhere. Retail therapy is not real therapy. All right, so that I like that one a lot. That's first empowerment. Y'all heard that. Okay, so... Um, that's another symptom that you're starting to notice and it starts to come into your budget because in your mind you think that this shopping is somewhat going to cure, cure what's going on. All right, and then what happens? So you shop, 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 and then what happens? Then you got to deal with the bills, <laughs> credit cards, you got to pay them. And even more so, 
I don't use credit cards. Uh-huh. I use cash. But then mm-hmm. now you're using all the cash that you're saving. So mm-hmm. then now all of that is out of whack. Okay. Alrighty. So mommy is out of whack in her balance. Mm-hmm. So she's starting to see things like overdrafting. She's starting to see that her cash is going away without her being able to have a gauge on what's mm-hmm. happening to it. She's indulging in a whole lot of retail therapy. She's climbing in more debt. These are all of the signs to kind of say that I am out of balance, right? Mm-hmm. So now we're talking about fighting that community. Mm-hmm. We've also talked about some of the things that are inside that's cause, causing you to act outwardly because now you don't feel you feel void inside mm-hmm. so now you're looking out for these things outside all right so we've identified that what do we do now when we look at our person we say this purse is out of balance financially it's out of balance emotionally how do we begin to come back to ourselves pick up that purse mm-hmm. dump everything that's in it on the ground you're gonna shake that purse out and sift through everything if you don't need whatever is in there that you did not need uh-huh. throw it out throw it out and whatever it is that you feel like, okay, I can't live without this. Uh-huh. You know, it's something that's going to make me better. Uh-huh. You keep it in. Okay, so let's 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 okay, so let's delve into that. I like the correlation of what you're doing, but I want to make sure that the mm-hmm. people at home that are watching they understand. So you're doing a purse dump. I do that with mm-hmm. my clients too to help them take out their purse and basically you're gonna analyze what's in it, right? Mm-hmm. So emotionally, let's identify one of those emotions. Let's pull out one of the emotions out of our purse. Okay. If you got that person, if you have a friend or someone in your life that really brings you down, Mm -hmm. dump it. All right, so you dig in that purse and you find a friend that is just draining your purse, right? Mm -hmm. Because clearly, if you talk to that friend and they be talking to you, you ain't good enough, you ain't this, you ain't that. You feel like you got to go outside of that purse and find Mm -hmm. something to kind of bandage that. All right, so we're talking about poor relationships. Get that out. All right, so let's talk about how you like that retail therapy, how we start dealing with that. If you just, you got all the new tags, and then when you look at your credit report, and then you just don't like Mm -hmm. nothing about it. All right, so what do you do? Find out those things that you bought, look at them, or the things that you want to buy, right? Find out, is it really going to change me? Or is it going to change my situation and make it better? Mm -hmm. And be honest with yourself. If not, take it back. Mm. I had a problem with returning things. (laughs) I had a problem with returning things. I didn't want to be embarrassed with, oh my gosh, you don't have no money. So that was my thing. But now... I like seeing money in my account. Right. So, okay, so you bring home this thing. Let's slow that down because that's very important. So you go and you look in your closet and you see all these tags, 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 tags of all this stuff that you really don't need. And it's, you know, you have more stuff than you have Mm -hmm. money, right? So you can start taking some of the stuff back if you actually can. Mm -hmm. And you're walking yourself through that because emotionally, what are you doing for yourself? You're just relieving everything. And now you're, you're making yourself just more free in that void that you have, honestly, you are feeling it. You're feeling it with happiness. You're feeling it with, um, you don't have that baggage. You're getting rid of all that baggage. Okay. So you, the fact that you've dealt with, hey, I don't need this stuff. It's not going to treat this situation. It's not going to make me feel any better. I can now let this stuff mm-hmm. go. And then I can begin to create more places in myself to identify genuine and authentic authentic happiness instead of some of that retail therapy i'm liking this i am liking this all right so if um anyone who's tuning in and they're listening to you how can they connect with you if they have more questions about balancing themselves so that they can be balancing their money where could they connect with you i have a facebook group Mm -hmm. it's called sound moms with a sound mind moms with a sound mind okay so you can find her on facebook through moms with a sound mind and there you're giving these daily doses Mm -hmm. of just basically what i give advice um i share with you my personal experience of how i came i don't I don't fully have a sound mind, but I'm I'm where I should be right now. Wow, that is huge. I, I just that mm-hmm. is huge for someone who is studying this and dealing with people mm-hmm. mental health issues. You can say, as a mom dealing with all these things, I have to constantly work on my soundness. Mm-hmm. So you know what that's like for the rest of the population who has not set through the formal educations of dealing with their mental health, and this is someone who has done that. So you know us moms, what it's okay for us to admit that, listen, we may need some therapy. We may need to extend ourselves beyond our conversations in these living rooms. We may actually need to go see a clinical health, mental health professional. 
All right, so that's good. Um, they can connect with you on Facebook. Anything else that you have that they might connect with you? I have my Instagram page. Okay. I have Tells of a Wife and Mommy. Instagram Tells of a I Wife also. and Mom. So these are all ways that you guys can connect mm -hmm. with Sarah Elise. Um, again, if you are just tuning into this and you like this conversation, there's going to be an extended version of this conversation. And Sarah Elise, the licensed psychotherapist, is going to be there to talk about balancing your mind so that you can balance your money. Um, if you are just joining into this conversation, you want to connect with us, me, you can log on to personempowerment.com. And uh, I am looking forward to this conversation. Be sure to register for the event if you have have not because you see this conversation is going to be packed with some wealth wisdom. Thank you.